Hello and welcome Pixels! Today I want to dive into some basics for painting in 3D space with the Grease Pencil tool. I will draw with the newest alpha version of Blender 2.9 which was released on 5th May 2020. Generally there will be no difference for the behavior with Blender 2.82. The interface will look a little bit different, that's all. But I will not use any new features which are not included to older versions. I will record the first part live without any script, so I'm already sorry for some grammatical mistakes. Alright, we're in Blender version 2.9 alpha, you can see this here, and we want to draw something in 3D space, so I would recommend to select 2D animation workspace. So we have our white background here, maybe you know this from my further videos, and currently we was in this camera view. Yeah, you can switch to the camera view with the zero key on the number pad, but currently we don't need any of this camera, so we can probably just enable it or delete the camera, because we just want to draw here in 3D space. So it doesn't matter if you switch to front view, side view or top view, we need some reference where our cursor is, so I would recommend to just enable the grid view. So go to this button here and enable the grid view. So on top view we have as well the grid, we can always disable it again, but I I prefer to working with the grid here. Very important is we have currently selected the pencil tool or the brush tool, the draw tool and it is based on the origin. So okay, where is actually our origin here in scene? If we switch to object mode, then we see the origin point is at the 0, 0, 0 position. So x, epsilon and z value is 0. If we switch to the front view, we can see our origin here. And this is where it is based. If we go back to draw mode, um, we can actually draw something and it will always based on this origin point here. And if we move, then the stroke and everything will be moving as well. So let's go back to draw mode. So basically we have the pencil tool, it is nice for, uh, for sketching. I don't like this kind of opacity, so, so I rise the opacity a little bit here till 2.8 or something like this. Okay, if we go to edit mode, select everything and we can delete it, then we can restart from scratch. Uh, just for information, I'm working with a graphic tablet, so I have pen pressure activated and I've pressed very hard. I will get a thicker and uh, harder brush with more opacity than if I press very low, so we have very decent opacity. So let's draw something. Probably I will just draw now here this kind of uh, rectangle and if we moving around then we see it is based on a zero epsilon direction. So front view is drawing on zero epsilon. If we switch to the side view then you see that we have now here our line which is this one here and if we draw now something here this will be located on the x0 position as well so drawing here in 3d space is very unhandy because if i set now this stroke here this will be probably pretty ugly because there's no reference where this point belongs to but I, but I talked about this in my previous video. So now we'll switch to top view. We have currently this. And if we draw now something here on top view, then it will be definitely on zero set position. So it's not very handy. Um, and we want this line upwards there or something like this. So yeah, how can I bring this line now to the top position? Just go to edit mode, select our stroke, um, this has to be enabled as well. We can select vertices of our curve or we can just select the whole stroke. And this is now enabled, G 
Z and I can move it upwards. Now it belongs where it should be. Probably adjust this a little bit. And now this is what we want to. Uh, we can definitely as well just duplicate our stroke and move it again so that we have two times the same stroke and now in one in the bottom, one in the top part here. And if we go to side view um, and to draw mode, then we can actually just connect this to but it's already here in the middle. So this is really annoying. So we always have to uh, draw on zero position and and move the stroke to the correct position. And it's not very handy to draw like this, in my opinion. So what can we do to make this better? This is just my way how I prefer drawing. So I will now go to edit mode, select everything and delete everything. Go back to draw mode. And what we want to do now is to tell Blender where our stroke should be located. And this is basically this here. So we can select the origin 3D cursor surface stroke. And I will just select now this 3D cursor, which is currently not enabled and we need to just activate it as well. So go here, activating this 3D cursor. And you see it is actually here on the our origin point and if I draw now something I will just draw this line here then we want to continue drawing here and want to draw into this direction yeah for sure it's now not very correct so we want to start drawing from here so it's very nice if we just can bring the this 3D cursor to this position. And we can do this with the shortcut shift plus right click. Now it is here. And we can start drawing now from this position. I go into the side view and for example drawing something like this. And you see it is not on the zero position. It will not start here or from the origin. So we are starting drawing from this 3D cursor. And this is as well here. It will be placed exactly on this position, X, Epsilon, Z position. Let's do an example and I want to draw a chair, a simple chair. Um, it is maybe very nice to know how this chair will look like in 3D space. So it will be a sketch for before modeling so you can see the actual um, volume of this chair and it's not just a 2D concept, it's a 3D concept. You can draw cars or spaceship. It's a visualization of an idea, you know. And maybe this will helping you for modeling. So I'm going here to edit mode, select everything and delete it. I will just place the 3D cursor some, somewhere here and um, it is a little bit annoying to just switch always the views. So um, I like to adding more workspaces. For example, I want to draw here in the side mode. And I want to draw here in the top mode. And we don't need this one here. So top mode, side mode, and front mode. This is a little bit bigger workspace, so we have we can switch as well to 3D space view as well. We want to start with our chair now, and I will just scratching around now um, to get my base um, backside here. So I will just sketching around and we won't have here our first part of the of the chair what would be as well very helpful is to add a modifier the mirror modifier now we see that this is a little bit yeah unhandy not like doesn't look like a chair
nice details here okay looks good and somewhere here should start our basic surface where we want to sit on okay um basically this should be we need to place our 3d cursor there with shift right click and this should be now in the correct position you see is here and if i draw now we see that we getting this kind of shape now and this is very nice because we exactly want this um okay let's test it out how does this look like is this okay or is this too less maybe we need some more of this okay and we can start as well drawing here in the top view so we doing now this here okay be a little bit more free we want to have here a nice round shape so it shouldn't be just this rectangle here um, we want nice round shapes because we don't want to sit on something which is very hot um the soft eraser hmm yeah not sure about this um i don't like it if it's too soft so i like it if it's harder um so let's test it now yeah it's better i don't i really don't like it if it's too soft it's it doesn't look scared if it's something too too blurry here so we want a clear shape or something which is uh <laughs> clearer than before we will need this two times okay so go to to edit mode select it uh, select this just duplicate it and move it downwards well this is how I draw in 3d space the rest of the video will be just fastened up because there will be nothing new for you I had some troubles with the 3D cursor. Um, you see this maybe a little bit later in this time lapse because I didn't understand how to work with the 3D cursor correctly. So I want to share my experience with you guys. It's always important to place the 3D cursor as well in an esoteric view. So you should place it on top view, side view or front view and you shouldn't uh, want to set your 3D cursor in 3D space because there is as well no reference, there's no snapping for this um, and if you snap in 3D view then the 3D cursor can be rotated and placed somewhere with no reference, you know. Um, so it was easier for me to um, think where should be the 3D cursor be placed um, so I will set the position in top uh, top view and side view and maybe if I need it if it's needed as well in front view um, yeah and then you have a much more easier life yeah and slowly you get an idea of the chair and how the 3D mesh could look like and it's very nice to rotate it around and check it out if the chair feels good is there something which needs more attention and yeah basically it's a nice chair we can add as many details as you wanna maybe as well as an as an sketching for the texture later so you can plan your uv layout as well and this was my experience for painting in 3d i haven't done this as well very often so um i just want to share it with you guys Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers.